Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at an Airbus A3 2200 in the colors of Tunis Air. And as always we start off with the box and if we take a closer look here we can see we have the Tunis Air branding and we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside. Then on the back side of the box we have a very nice image of the actual aircraft itself. Then we also provided with a link from Harperwing so we can get more information about the aircraft and we can see that it is a limited edition. Now let's take a closer look at the aircraft itself. And here we have the Airbus A3 2200 in the current very nice colors of Tunis Air. Now let's get a closer look at the aircraft itself and as always we start with the tail section of the aircraft and here we can see on the vertical stabilizer we have the Tunis Air branding, we also have on the fuselage the Tunisian flag and we have the full registration code of the aircraft. Now if we then move from the back of the aircraft to the front of the aircraft we can see along the fuselage the writing of Tunis Air in English and then what I'm pretty sure is the name of the airline in Arabic. Then we also have the aircraft type specification and then another very nice detail just under the cockpit windows we have here the name of the aircraft in English and on the other side in Arabic. And when we then move from the cockpit to the wings of the aircraft you can see here on the upper side pretty decent detailing including the full registration code of the aircraft once more and then on the underside we can see here also not too shabby and it also has the full registration code of the aircraft. Another great detail of the aircraft are the engine nacelles, where we also have the airline branding once again. And then of course, last but not least, we have the doors to the cargo compartment as we can see right here. Now once again, Harper has managed to make a very nice aircraft. Given the quite recent release date of this aircraft, you could maybe wish for a little more details, but on the other hand, the ones the aircraft has are again a very good standard. And then course we have the very nice livery. In my opinion a very nice example for a livery with a lot of white but without being boring. And with that we have reached the end of this episode. Now if you have enjoyed feel free to leave a like or if you're new around here why not hit subscribe. That would be absolutely awesome. And don't miss out on the next episode of Review where we will take a look at another Airbus A3 2200 but this time in the new colors of Eurowings. Until then, I would like to say thank you very much for watching, hope to see you soon again, I'm checking out and bye. Now hang on for a minute, a review is getting close to its 100th episode and that is why I have decided to give you the choice of deciding which aircraft model we take a look at for the 100th episode of review. Would you like to see an airline that I have never made a review of? A Boeing 747-400 old generation aircraft model from Korean Air. Now maybe that's not to your liking, you prefer a new generation aircraft model but with a little bit of history. How about a Boeing 747-8i in the retro colors of Lufthansa? Still not the one for you? How about an old generation aircraft model of a Boeing 747-400 in the special British Airways colors of Scotland? Now the choice is yours, simply leave the name of the airline that you would like to see a review of in the comment section below. The aircraft with the most votes will be the one we see in the 100th episode of Review.